a small feat. How a South Dakota farmer did just that using a combination of conservation practices. Good afternoon and thanks for watching the Market Day Report. I'm Janet Adkison. The House Agriculture Committee marks up its version of the Farm Bill on Capitol Hill this morning. RFD-TV's Washington Bureau Chief Sarah Mock joins us now live from, the hit, from Capitol Hill. Well, thanks, Janet. I think it's safe to say that the frustration here on Capitol Hill as the House Ag Committee marks up the 2018 Farm Bill is palpable, both for, on the Republican side as they deal with the Democrats who refuse to uh, participate in the Farm Bill process, who will all vote no uh, to get this, to getting this bill out of the committee, as well as from those Democrats who are frustrated with what has been, they say, a closed-door process and one lacking transparency, particularly around that nutrition title. But despite all of that frustration uh, and the pushback he's getting from his colleagues, Con uh, Chairman Con Mike Conaway from Texas is committed to getting this bill uh, out of committee by the end of this week and moving forward on the bill. I believe an extension of the current farm bill is a really bad idea. An extension denies our farmers and ranchers the certainty they deserve. It fails to address the problem of programs with funding that expires, and it fails to meet important new needs. We have heard from farmers and ranchers tell us how important the, farm, uh, the foreign market development program is, but funding from FMD will be zeroed out on an extension. Same is true for the technical assistance of specialty crops program, emerging markets program, and a number of programs for beginning farmers and ranchers, uh, for nutrition programs that incentivize healthy eating, and several organic form, uh, programs, just to name a few others, that will zero out on an extension. Now, the primary action we've seen taken this morning by the committee is the block passage of more than 20 submitted amendments, all of them from Republican members, which included uh, updates to rural broadband speed requirements, giving the USDA additional authority to promote trade, uh, the more authority and funding to carry out national education campaigns, specifically around biotechnology, uh, and another a number of other provisions to kind of clarify the language in the bill and provide additional uh, funding and support to programs, uh, including hemp and uh, rural development. And of course, we we have heard from uh, a number of things from, from members on both sides of the aisle. Jim, uh, Congressman Jim McGovern from Massachusetts did have a, a key statement on that nutrition title. He called on the Republican members to consider uh, what they heard in 23 nutrition uh, committee hearings from more than 90 witnesses who he says none of which uh, recommended a nutrition program like the one presented by Republicans today. Many of his Democratic colleagues joined him in asking the Republicans to go back and reconsider uh, the nutrition program they are currently sticking to. Conway says that's not in the cards. Uh, but we also heard from former chairman of the House Ag Committee, George uh, Lucas, Congressman Lucas from Oklahoma. Uh, he asked his colleagues essentially uh, to be patient and to commit to the process, saying, quote, we need to take a step forward. They're encouraging his colleagues to allow this bill to pass out of committee and to deal with some of the more contentious issues, including, of course, that nutrition title on the House floor. And of course, there was a lot of kickback from Democrats saying, why would we let a bill out of committee that is clearly broken, that we can not support and we can't ask the larger Democratic caucus to support. Uh, and that conversation is still ongoing. Uh, co Congress folks are in this room right now asking questions about that nutrition title and hoping to uh, to get this wrapped up and hopefully get reach some sort of consensus, though it does seem that any bipartisanship at this point is off the table, which is a little disappointing, I think, for members on both sides of the aisle. Uh, but until we have more word, uh, we'll be following this hearing, which will likely last throughout the afternoon uh, and potentially until tomorrow if things don't get sorted out, uh, but we'll be here watching things in Washington and giving our folks on our who watch RFD TV all the updates they need to stay on top of this farm bill. So we'll uh, head back to you folks in the studio now. As always, Sarah, thank you very much for the live update from Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, over on the Senate, Ag Committee Chairman Pat Roberts and Ranking Member Debbie Stabenow say they're dedicated to putting together a bipartisan bill and they hope to release a draft within the next month or so. Well, firefighters continue to battle.